Music TV. set here in Hilversum, Holland, in the Whistlord Studios, the world-famous Whistlord Studios, where um, I have my own little room, and um, we're here to talk about Eastman guitars, which are currently a big deal of my arsenal of instruments to make sounds and to use them on sessions. Um, I have used them a lot with my band, The Common Linnets, you might have heard of them, and I have produced many, many records in Holland but also abroad with um, many many famous artists and uh, I've been using Eastman ever since um, I bumped into my first ever Eastman instrument which was a mandolin and I bought it off the shelf at um, uh, Hampe Berkel M Music which is a very small kind of acoustic based shop in the middle of Amsterdam and I go in there and they have all kinds of instruments and they usually are very nice they're very people that, that know what they're doing and they love their instruments so much and they said we have something you might like and that was this little guy and it was a mandolin and uh, I was I was stunned it, because it looked it looked the deal it looked like like you know the, 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 the old mandolins from from the early days and uh, the 30s, you know, the pre-war mandolins or late 19th century mandolins, which I like so much, but are just like really, really expensive if you can come across a good one. So um, this one's quite affordable. And so I went home and I thought, well, do I need another mandolin? I don't think so. I already got three, <laughs> but uh, I just, I couldn't sleep. I went back and I just had a look at it and the, the, the the craftsmanship of it is just oozing out of this instrument. It's just not, there's, I mean, there's, they do marketing, of course, and people will say this is the best and blah, blah, blah. But really, to me, this instrument felt like, wow, this is like a one of a kind mandolin, which they all are because all the instruments are hand built. I have been told. So uh, I bought this little mandolin and this, uh, it's a stunner. Um, the strings that are on it right now are not the usual strings I put on a mandolin. These are the Tomastique, more classical sounding, so they're they're a little a little less sustainy, a little less bright, but a little more warm. So, but I like I like the sound of that. So I put them on, and it was just a, a, a great marriage. And I think um, this mandolin has been on tour, many many Kamalina shows. It's my it's my to go to mandolin live, and in the studio I've used it on on the Kamalina's records as well. Um, in fact, one song of uh, the second album actually starts with this mandolin, and it's a little riff that goes something like. <laughs> it's like instant Kentucky. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I love mandolins, you know, they're like, they're not, they're not the, uh, it's not a, it's not a, a rock star instrument really, but it's just the tone is so nice. And you can always like, if you're in the bus, you know, it's never in the way. You can just take it out and, and you can just like, you can play on it. I'm, and you know, I'm a guitar player. Uh, usually I play guitar and mandolin is something I really had to, had to learn, you know, because this, the, the, the tuning is so different, so you really, really had to dive into it. But the thing is, like, it's it's so cool to write on a mandolin because it, it gives so much, it gives, you know, just a new dimension. So I got really into mandolin playing, and I bumped into people 
in Nashville that played mandolin. I went to see a couple of bluegrass bands and all of that. And I found out that you can do stunning things with those instruments texture wise on, on, on texture wise on, on a record. So I got way into mandolins, started playing them, started to figure out how it worked. Started drooling when I went to the station in and saw like the real guys play. Uh, but so gradually I got into the Eastman catalog and then they made a stunning mandola, which I came across. And that's this one. So the man mandolin is like a violin and the mandola would be like the viola, which is like a, a, a quarter step down. So on a, on a mandolin, you would play, if you would t take this form, it would be a G and now it's a C, so under this, it's like a fifth under the G. So this, as you can imagine, gives some more a deeper voice. It has like a more more balls to it, I would say. And it's again, you know, it works the same way as a mandolin. It just needs some more chops because it's like it's pretty. It's like a very tight twelve-string guitar. <laughs> That's um, that's the thing I use. I I never use it live because I haven't found a way to amplify these guys. And um, we've been taking so many guitars on the roads that uh, you know we want to give our crew a little break. But yeah, I use it on on records because it's really again you know it's a, uh, for textures and all of that. If you want to, you know, if you're stacking guitars, the sound can get a little boring, you know, because you're like stacking just guitars that all have like basically the same tuning. This is your, this is your answer to something different so uh but my favorite baby currently my two go-to instrument right now is the uh mondo cello there you go and that's this dude here and this is something amazing you i, I think the closest to what this is is like maybe an a string bass you know it doesn't even have anything to do with a mandolin anymore except for the tuning and uh, the pairs of strings but it's not, you know, mandolin is like almost like a violin. Your your your, your finger positions are really small, but on this one, you really have to, you have to push it a little bit. Like. I have been using this one on um, sessions with a, a German German superstar, Peter Maffei. Uh, I've been taken to the studio and everybody loved it and you can do this like is that if you if you can hear this is something that's virtually impossible on a guitar so you're actually this these two strings are like in bass region and these so your your spectrum is quite broad on this uh, instrument um, I've been trying to arrange songs on it you know like play it only on this instrument and it's it's, it's really stunning it's beautiful again needless to say that the, the the way it's built is just unbelievable it's it's really it, it, it oozes out craftsmanship and uh, it sounds just amazing it's a fantastic instrument and i love it that, so that was all mandolins and i thought like okay you know they do good mandolins they do good like stuff like that but how about the guitars and i um i started playing those eastman guitars so the first one i ever got was when eels and i were doing uh, the voice of holland we were um, coaching our team and um, we decided to have a bunch of Eastmans, you know. And uh, so um, the first one I got was this 12 string here, which is like, uh, as you can see, it's been well used. You got the buckle wear and uh, my friend Ilse, <laughs> you know, has a little, uh, let's say, uh, she likes her nails. 
<laughs> and so is he, yeah, she's kind of eating this guitar. But, you know, I like guitars that have been used a lot. So anyway, but this one is a stunning, a stunning 12 string guitar. That's a guitar we've been using on all common Linus records. <laughs> Liars, the song in the first record is done in this one and it goes like So this this particular guitar Ilse plays live a lot, although it's mine. You know, I play her guitars too, so that's okay. Um, so this guitar, yeah, is like the best 12 string I've ever owned. And um, uh, it, it's just a special one because it's all mahogany and it's solid spruce on top and it's fucking loud. Did I say fucking? Oh, I'm sorry. It's really loud. <laughs> then um, I got this guitar, which is just a stock OM20. And I've always wanted to have an OM and... Um, so I got this guitar and I just love it. I love the hell out of it. It's like a very all round guitar. Uh, I love the body. I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. It's got a great pickup in it. Uh, but um, so this guitar, so Eels and I have quite a collection of guitars that we use in the studio. And we have been playing all kinds of guitars in the studio that, that when we were recording stuff for whoever, um, one, one, one time I recall, we were recording with a, um, a Chuba Petoch, and Chuba is a very well-known LA studio engineer. He's worked with Toto, and uh, uh, it's, I don't know, he's worked with everybody. He's like a great, great, well-known engineer. And um, so one day we were tracking a guitar, and I, he just couldn't get the tone right. And he was just trying mics, trying compressors, and I was playing a very old guitar very nice guitar and um, he said man I just can't get it right whatever I try to do and then I swapped to this one and that was it he's just like yeah that's it I took everything off again you know and uh, it's just mic in front of it little compression and he said this was the best sounding guitar he had so we've been using that on a lot of sessions with Chubba unfortunately Chubba passed away recently we all still miss him because he was a great engineer and uh, he knew what he was talking about, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, that that's th that story always comes to mind when I, whenever I pick up this guitar. We're like, okay, you know. Uh, so uh, this guitar I just use to write. I take it all over the place and uh, I record with it and it's always there. It's my, this is my buddy, my guitar, acoustic guitar buddy. <laughs> Anything on like um, like a, or if you want to have a, a good strum, but it, it's also great for picking it because if you do like ah, you know. It's, it's, you know, it's like a, it's like a great 20 euro bottle of wine from the Burgundy that, that's like just great, you know, it's not like a hundred thousand uh, dollar or euro bottle of Petru, you know, it's just a great guitar and I, you know, it's just, it's a friend, you know, and they all, that's the great thing about Eastman, they all have their own character, no, no guitar is the same. so. I've been told that's, that has to do because they're all hand-built and they all uh, work.